Let's take a look at stepping through some code. In our new project right now, uh, in the newproject.c file, I've created a global variable called global and initialized it zero. I've created a local variable inside the main loop and I've created a function called function. So the idea here is that we hit the reset vector and then it pops into main right now. We come into this infinite while loop and all we do is call function increase the global variable and go back. So let's build this project, control B. It says it's already built, so that's good. And we'll connect to our debugger board by clicking on the bug here. It's asked us if we want to open up a different perspective. So a different uh, perspective is a collection of views within Eclipse within E Squared Studio. And this is the CC++ one that we're looking at right now for editing C and C++ programs but it's asking if we want to switch to the debug perspective. it will have a different set of views set up that will be handy for debugging. So let's switch over to that. And here's our, our debug thread, our stack. Here is the reset vector and our new project. Uh, .c file over there. And then we've got a view into the various pieces of the MCU. Variables will give us local variables as they come into scope. Breakpoints, event points, IO registers. We'll look at some of those later. If we want to look at global variables, we need a view up here called the expressions view. And you can find that under uh, window, show view, and expressions. Uh, but that's a couple of mouse clicks. Also down here is the fast view, and that will show a list of our more commonly used views. And so we can click expressions here. I'm going to drag that over to my bar here. Put it in front of breakpoints. Very nice. Okay. So let's say we want to look at our global variable. We can double click on this to highlight it. And then we can single click and drag it over here into the expressions view. And it will show us it's an unsigned int type called global. It currently has a value of zero. So we'll click on restart. And it will run to the beginning of the main. And then if we want to step through our code, this is the step into. This will step every C instruction, every source instruction. And this is the step over. This will allow us to uh, run a function without stepping through every single piece of it. Imagine a delay. You wouldn't want to step through a long delay. You would step over that function. It would still execute it, but you wouldn't see every single instruction. So let's step and see what happens. We're going to call our function. And we're going to increment our global variable. And we can see that that increased in value to 1. And when we step, it will return back into the while loop. And around we go. Calling function. And there's global. Now, if I use the step over, it will then just move around our while loop. And global will increment, but we won't have to step through our function every time. Now, here's a third option here. This is called step return. So if we end up in our function and we want to step out of it, one click here will send us to the return and back home again. For more information on eSquared Studio, including documentation and downloads, go to renaissance.com slash e2studio.